We're in Active Directory on a 2016 Windows server, and this procedure also works on 2012 and 2019. So this is a domain controller, and we're going to go into Server Manager and Tools and go to the Group Policy Management section. And from here, we're going to click on Security Filtering on one of our Group Policy objects. So on the right-hand side, you see Security Filtering set up. And Security Filtering basically are only going, is going to make this Group Policy only apply to specific groups, users, or computers. So what we can do is we can go ahead and click Add. And let's say we want this to apply to administrators. So we'll just go ahead and type in the beginning of administrators, click check name, and we choose administrators. And then we can highlight the authenticated users and click remove. So now this policy is only going to be applied to administrators. Let's go ahead and click add again. And instead of choosing administrators, let's just go ahead and choose the single administrator. So it only applies to one person. Now you could do this to an individual person of any anyone you want. It doesn't have to be someone in the administrators group. So I can go ahead and click remove there. And now it's just the administrator where this group policy object, whatever is in this object, is going to apply just to the administrator where the administrator logs in. So let's go ahead and change this a little bit. Let's go back and add in the authenticated users group. And then we will also make another change by adding in a computer. So we'll go ahead and click the uh, add button. And we're just going to go ahead and change the other objects here to include computers. There we go. And we're going to type in, this time we'll type in our router. So click check name. Router 01 is added. And now what's going to happen is any authenticated user that logs into our router server, uh, this particular group policy object will apply. So if we uh, go ahead and remove authenticated users and just leave router in there only, it means anybody who logs into the router. Uh, but of course, that would be an authenticated user anyway. <laughs> so uh, it doesn't make much difference there. But uh, the uh, you can either apply it to computers, you can apply it to users, groups, or a combination. So if it's a combination, then the all criteria has to be met. So if it's administrators and it's router 01, then only the administrators, when they log into router 01, will get that particular group policy the object applied to them. So that's how you do security filtering in Active Directory in Windows Server 2012, 2016, and 2019.